My name is Joey Williams. My job is to um, act as the Director of Education here at Skulls Unlimited. Um, anybody who's not familiar with the company, we are a biological supply company and as the name suggests, we supply skulls and skeletons to the educational community. Basically, this job is um, perfect for me. It seems like a natural progression to me because I started collecting bones and skulls as, at such a very early age. Um, I started doing art uh, with those items um, and it kind of led into a natural uh, progression towards uh, ending up here. Previously I worked for a nature center as a university um, and it allowed me to be creative but not quite to the same level that, um, that I've been allowed to here. I've been with the company for seven years and one of my first tasks why I was hired was to develop and design uh, the Museum of Osteology. The Museum of Osteology is a, a nonprofit museum being funded by Skulls Unlimited. Um, we are going to exhibit uh, upwards of a thousand species of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, um, basically all the vertebrate classes. Um, we're going to have upwards of 300 uh, individual skeletons on display and several hundred more skulls. I've always had a fascination with um, natural history, nature, um, you know, wildlife. Um, I grew up in a small rural town in Kansas and um, biology was always one of my favorite subjects. Um, art was also something that kind of came easy for me at an early age, so um, I kind of combined the two of those as I was uh, growing up. Um, basically uh, thought I was going to be an artist all my life. Um, went to school for that and decided that um, I wanted to go back to school and get a degree in biology. Um, when I was very young I started collecting natural elements, mostly skulls and bones, um, and began incorporating those into my art. Most everything that I use in my art is real. Um, all of the natural elements are real. Um, you know, real bones, real insects, real um, sometimes organs. Uh, some of my pieces I've encompassed um, plastinated uh, sheep's hearts. Um, you know, yeah, all of those elements are real. The dark subject matter basically is probably a form of therapy. It allows me to um, express myself and uh, do it in a sense that is a little darker than, than some people's art. But uh, once I express that, um, then I can move on with it. In my work here in the museum, um, I have had quite a few um, ideas that have, you know, and. I mean, I get an idea when I'm driving to work or, or whatever, but being surrounded by uh, these elements, um, it does uh, lend to um, inspiration, I guess I should say. Um, in, in addition to uh, just designing the exhibits, um, I've been able to use a lot of my artistic ability in um, putting together elements of the exhibits as well. Uh, the comparative exhibit? Oh, uh, yeah. So the monkey you're wanting, to, we're going to go ahead and stick with it up here. Yeah, um, so have his, uh, his right side facing out. Yeah. yeah. So there, there are uh, times when uh, working here with bones, working here in the museum with skeletons and skulls, um, it definitely uh, lends to, to my inspiration. Working here is a learning experience um, and, it, and it is something that you have to get used to. 
Um, the smell is definitely a factor um, when you're dealing with any kind of dead animals, decomposition, um, the cleaning of, the, of those animals, um, there are a lot of interesting smells. And um, it's, it's something that I guess a, at a young age I began to tolerate and no, it's not pleasant, but it doesn't bother me anymore. Um, just simply because the end result is, is um, attractive to me. Um, you know, nice clean bones to, to incorporate in art or as a specimen. Um, that end result uh, outweighs the, the unpleasantries uh, of uh, the smells and all the interesting things that I, that I see uh, in the processing of the specimens. There are different techniques for cleaning the specimens depending on the state of decomposition. Um, one of, of my favorites, uh, a lot of people can't stomach it, but uh, I use a lot of maceration. Um, which is basically rotting a specimen under water um, and using anaerobic bacteria that's naturally occurring to uh, decompose the tissue. Um, as you can imagine, that creates quite a smell. Um, and uh, it's, it, it's a little hard for people to stomach. Um, personally, uh, it doesn't bother me that much. I've actually grown to um, to kind of like it a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's, it stinks. <laughs> the specimens that I use for my art uh, typically either come from nature or um, there are individuals who farm exotic animals. Um, I obtain quite a few specimens through those channels. I can usually uh, find some sort of use in, in just about any specimen, even if it's uh, undesirable or unwanted um, by the museum or, or by the company here. It's not my intent to uh, portray the macabre or the morbid. Um, nothing really dark with, with, with my art. It is elements of my soul um, and elements of my world, my experiences, my travels, um, you know, my, my likes, my dislikes. It's, it is good therapy for me, so um, it's a good way to um, not pin everything up. I can express it, I can get it out there. People can either accept it or reject it, and um, either way, I'm, it's out of me and, and it's cathartic. Where I'm at now is uh, basically what it's the culmination of, of my entire life, basically. Um, you know, I'm using all of my interests um, when I come to work, when I go home, and I'm able to express myself through my art or collect skulls or whatever I do. Um, it is a culmination of, of everything that I've worked for, everything I've experienced. Um, so yeah, in, in my, uh, my existence, I'm, I'm fairly content. And most people would say, uh, you know, if you're, you've got the perfect job, you know, you're able to do this and you're able to do that and you're able to put it all together. And, and yeah, I'd have to agree with that.